Thanks a lot, Mark. Yep. A family reunion taking place above the clouds. From Seattle to Barbados, family members flew in to fly with 87-year-old Whitehall resident and former World War II pilot Lee Leeser. The family took off in a replica B-17 bomber at the Chester County Airport today. The flight was a chance for the family to get a glimpse of Leeser's past heroics. Uh, it's very emotional to be here with my whole family. And when I see my dad standing there, I can't believe he was 23 years old when he did this. And WFMZ's Bo Colt now got a chance to speak with Lisa. He'll bring you that part of the story tonight at 10 o'clock. People in Burn Plain to honor their own veteran who happens to call Whitehall home. WFMZ's Bo Colt now has their story. Call it a homecoming for 87-year-old Lee Leeser. Looking at the instrument panel, it brings back many memories. As a 23-year-old World War II bomber pilot, Leeser owned the skies, steering 18 bombing missions inside a B-17 bomber, much like the one he's in today. His last mission resulted in being shot down over the English Channel and captured by the Germans. He spent a year as a POW. It means so much to me because I, I never thought there'd be an opportunity like this. The Warbird is part of the Liberty Bell Foundation's fleet, a nonprofit supporting World War II veterans. What you guys did for us is just phenomenal. Today, Leeser's flight crew is family. 16 members from Barbados to Seattle flew in to fly with the one-time colonel and commander of California's largest Air Force base, who also happens to be grandpa to most. It's wonderful just to think that we can share this moment with him. Thank you. A family reunion that introduces the former war hero and Whitehall resident to two great-grandchildren for the first time. It's really an amazing treat uh, for us. He doesn't... Uh, we're lucky to have a great grandpa. Leeser might not be able to board like he once did, but the mission of bringing family closer together is not lost. Go up and just sit right in the pilot seat and put on the headset. It's a celebration of his life and what he did and all of us being together and saying thank you and way to go. And this is for all the vets out there, not just my dad. Post-flight, Leeser autographs the plane, a tradition only befitting veterans. 28-minute flight might not have been as harrowing as they once were, but none were more rewarding. It's hard to describe and explain, mm -hmm. but this will go down as one of the greatest days of my life. At the Chester County Airport, Bo Colt now, 69 News. Forget